Doesn't look like I'm gonna need these. June gloom and all that. Who hikes on days like this? Our hike begins at this trailhead off Olive View Drive in Silmar. Directions to it are in the description. Now I have to admit, it's a dreary start, especially on a dreary day. But trust me, it gets much better. And oh yeah, this is a popular trail for equestrians. So, watch your step. Our first junction is about a quarter mile down the path where we turn left and then jog to the right. We pass through a fence and this rather nice trail side. At the next junction, with no sign, swing to the left. Actually, for the entire hike to the top, when in doubt, go up. Also, we can start to look out to the San Gabriel Mountains and appreciate how pretty they can be in the mist. Now, I did say there are horse riders, including this caballero on a beautiful Andalusian, a breed, by the way, that originally came from Spain. The trail continues climbing under this water tank. A few minutes later, we come to an open area where it's not entirely clear where we go from here. Angle to the right, and you'll find this break in the fence. That's our route. Another junction with a slightly screwy sign. Go straight. The views from here open up even more, allowing us to look down on the San Fernando Valley. This junction is obvious, but I'll mention it anyway. Just go uphill and you'll be fine. And surprise, we're not alone. Good morning. These rather stout runners came from Placerita Canyon, several miles away. Speaking of that, you'll start to see these mileage signs, which measure the distance from the other trailhead for the Los Pinedos Trail in Placerita Canyon. Don't worry, we're a lot closer to the top than five miles. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. It helps with the algorithms. And that means that other people are gonna find out about this channel and it helps me out. The never steep trail keeps climbing past yucca and oak. Personally, I don't mind hiking in the clouds. It makes this a mystical experience, sort of.
Finally, after a little more than five miles, we come to a saddle where there are these benches. On a hot day, they're shaded and pleasant. On a June gloom day, maybe not. Eh, I don't think so. Well, I would show you the view, but you know. Yeah, there may not be a view, but wasn't that a lovely hike anyway? Kind of a plain thing to say. A few steps later, there's a restroom and picnic table. The way back is the same way you came. Now, to answer the question at the beginning, I think it's easy to see why other hikers didn't choose to visit this trail on such a gloomy day. But they're missing something. Okay, right, the views. But mm, just the same, the cool air and misty hillsides make rare days like this a treat. Maybe even a more contemplative experience, if you will. And, after all, to appreciate wilderness, it needs to be seen in all kinds of conditions, not just when it's sunny. <laughs>